right question number 10 we are given this alpha which is summation k varies from 1 to infinite sine pi by 6 to the power 2k now sine pi by 6 is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 so it will be simply 1 upon 4 to the power k where k varies from 1 to infinite now this is nothing but a gp so this is 1 by 4 1 by 4 square up to infinite and some of this gp is a upon 1 minus r which is 1 by 3 so value of alpha is 1 by 3 so we get our function g x as 2 to the power x by 3 plus 2 to the power 1 minus x by 3 now we have to find minima and maxima of this function in the interval 0 to 1 now if we find g dash x we'll get 2 to the power x by 3 into 1 by 3 log 2 and here it will be 2 to the power of 1 minus x by 3 minus 1 by 3 log 2 and if we put it equals to 0 from here we get x by 3 equals 1 minus x by 3 or value of x is 1 by 2. Now if we find g0, g0 is 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 by 3, g1 is 2 to the power of 1 by 3 plus 1 and g1 by 2 is 2 to the power of 1 by 6 plus 2 to the power of 1 by 6 which is 2 to the power of 7 by 6. Now if we find g double dash x, it will be greater than 0. That means its minimum value is 2 to the power of 7 by 6 and its maximum value is 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 by 3. That means this option A is correct. Minimum is 2 to the power of 7 by 6. Maximum is 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 by 3. Now C is gx attains its maximum at more than one point. So we have two points, 0 and 1, at which it attains its maximum value. So that means this option C is correct. Now it attains its minimum at more than one point. This is incorrect. So the correct options are A, B and C.